All right, we are in the kitchen with the folks from The Bull, and we have a special guest. Maria, are you going to help us cook? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Maria is going to help us cook, and we're not only making steak tartare and herb flatbread, but going to be making a drink that's off the special cocktail menu. It's for the holidays, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, and that's going to be at the bowl first. Let's keep going on the steak tartare and flatbread. What's next? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plate our dish. Um, we've got our tartare chilled from the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. You don't want to let it sit out since it is raw beef. Okay. So we'll fill this into a ring mold. Top it with the raw egg yolk. These are from uh, Henry Erda's Goat Farm. They're really good, lovely yard eggs. Some Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Bread and butter pickles. Mm. Some capers. And we'll pull our ring mold up. Mm -hmm. And finish it with some microgreens. Wow, talk about impress your guests. You're having some folks over th for Thanksgiving. This is something you can make and make them go, wow, that's talent. And then, of course. And then we'll add two pieces of our flatbread. This is uh, rosemary flatbread, kind of done really thin so that they're cracker consistency. Looks very good. What do you think, Maria? Looks good? Yeah, she's giving us the head nod. I know it's hard to see her. She's way down here. You're almost as tall as me. Yeah, she's given the thumbs up. Now we want to go ahead and make the drink that's going to go along with the steak tartare. Yes. Uh, well, this is kind of more of a dessert type drink, but uh, this is something we created for the holiday season for our winter cocktail menu. Mm -hmm. It's called And Everything Nice. Sugar and spice and everything that's nice. That's it. You got it. We're going to do a full shot of dark rum. Um, when we're experimenting with this, we also use rye whiskey, which worked really well, but we didn't have a rum drink on our cocktail menu, so we chose to go with the dark rum. Um, so a full shot of that, a one and a half ounce shot. Okay. And then just about a half ounce shot of uh, butterscotch schnapps. Just a little bit of that. Then we make a cinnamon simple syrup, cinnamon sticks and uh, sugar water. Smell that butterscotch. A nice, wow. Yeah, a nice little squeeze of that. And then we have heavy cream. Okay. A little bit of that. We're gonna shake it up. I'm pretty good at that. Nice oh little gosh. shake. Get it really nice and cold, all mixed together. Um, we chill our martini glass also to start, so we have a nice cold martini glass. Very nice. And we're gonna strain that in there. Okay. And then. This is the, the really nice part of it. Um, it makes it smell really nice. Uh, we're going to grate some fresh cinnamon on top and with a microplane. And then a little bit of nutmeg. So this really makes it, uh, makes it smell and taste like Christmas. It does smell <laughs> very good. Yeah. Okay, so the steak tartare, the everything nice recipes are on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. You can go and check them out for yourself at the bowl. And speaking of the bowl, you guys are having a really big fundraiser that's coming up. And I know Joe and, Delay Joe and Elaine are going to show us some auction items. Back in our kitchen talking about holiday cheer at the Bull, the big event coming up on December 2nd for the Child Advocacy Center. If you're just joining us, we made some steak tartare, and you also made this fantastic drink. For the folks and missus, tell us about this drink. Um, it's something we created for our winter cocktail menu. Uh -huh. It's a very seasonal drink. It's called And Everything Nice. And what's and all in it? It's got dark rum, it's got butter shots, it's got cream, and a cinnamon simple syrup. And then uh, we shake it up, put it in a martini glass, and then top it with fresh grated cinnamon and nutmeg. It well, smells like Christmas. You know, that sounds like something I should definitely try uh, out. Um, you know, it'd be a shame not to. Yeah, exactly. While I'm trying this out, tell us about the Bulls' participation with the big event for the Child Advocacy Center. Yeah, this is our fifth year doing this at the Bull. Um, it is to benefit the Child Advocacy Center. It's a great organization. What we provide is uh, we uh, it will, the tickets are thirty five dollars and what you get is uh, we uh, make a spread. We have our famous brisket. We uh, have heavy hors d'oeuvres, 
provided. And then uh, United Johnson Brothers um, is a, a wine distribution company here that uh, is providing wine. They're going to be doing a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. We'll be making cocktails behind the bar, such as this drink and others. Um, and, and I think that you should definitely request this drink because it is fantastic. Good. Nice work. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Thank it you. is definitely a great uh, holiday drink there. So lots going on at the Bowl. You guys are providing great food, great wine, a great event. And tell us more about that, Elaine, the, Elaine, the Child Advocacy Center event on the December 2nd. What do they need to well, do? Well, it's a festive event. We want people to come down and start their holiday season and help mm -hmm. our children. Um, we've got live holiday music, which I think is fun, getting the spirit. Got um, holiday gifts, which are all have holiday names, mm -hmm. like Santa Baby Package. We've even got an intimate dinner for six in someone's home, ah. prepared by a southern chef and, and served by an English butler. Very so we've cool. got some fun, fun items, yeah. and um, we've got wonderful food, wonderful drinks. Tickets are only $35, and of course it all goes to help our children and stays in Mobile. All right, fantastic. So we'll have more information about this online holiday cheer at the Bowl to benefit the Child Advocacy Center. We will be right back.